in the midst of your trial, in the midst of your tribulation. It's a challenge because you don't know where you're going. I don't know what's happening. Why did this happen? Why did that happen? Well, what's going on over here? Well, well why? Well, when? And how long? I don't mind waiting, but how long? Bless the Lord. Transitional season, a transitional, and you know 
when even you go through transition. Praise God. Yeah. That's right. We don't sleep too forever. Come on, Pastor. Bless the Lord. Children, they're fighting up against demons. Mm -hmm. We didn't have fight up against. They didn't have no cyberspace when I was when I was growing up. They're already cyber demons. They are cyber demons. Cyber Mold me and shake me and put me into the direction 
that he would have me to go in. He said, it is good. It is good. Romans chapter 5, and then I'm finished. I'm just going to read this, this verse in Romans chapter 5. David said in Psalms 1, he said, it is good that I was afflicted. Turn to Romans. Romans, Romans chapter 5. We'll show, you in this, we'll show you what affliction can do for you. It's good. It's good for us. Because we can learn his ways. Either you're going to go up or you're going to go down. You're going to go one way or the other. You're going you're gonna to go in transition. Or you're going to go in transition. Here's what affliction does. He said it was good that I was afflicted, David said. And I'm going to start at verse number 3. Romans chapter 5, verse number 3. Here's what affliction will do for you. Verse starting at verse number three, Romans five, chapter, chapter five, verse number three. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. Here it is, knowing that tribulation does what? Work in patience. God already know what you're asking for. Say, Lord, I need patience. You're asking for patience. You're asking for tribulation. David said, "It's good that I was afflicted." And ex patience gives us experience. Yes. And experience yes. gives us hope. Yeah. hope. And hope, hope. make it not a shame because well, of the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by who? The Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost, which is given unto us. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is what keeps you when you're in a transitional yes. position. Mm. You have to ask for the Holy Ghost. When you're asking for the Holy Ghost, tribulations will also come. <coughs> some is of our own decisions, some from the devil, and some is where God places it on us to get us to a higher, mature level. In him. But it's good, David said. But we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation works with patience, and patience give us experience, and experience and hope, gives us hope. And hope make it not a shame because of the love of God. And it's done through the Holy Ghost. I'm finished. Let us be the Lord.